Rex Lumber is a family-owned company uh, founded in 1926 in Graceville, Florida. We, we ran our for, first log here in uh, June of 2019. We uh, do dimensional lumber products, uh, 2x4s through 2x12s, up to uh, 8 foot to 20 foot lengths. We also do timbers here in Troy and we have a pole mill uh, making marine poles and tele, uh, pilings uh, and telephone poles, utility poles in Bristol, Florida. We're excited to have a uh, single bike crane. Uh, this is the first single bike crane that we've, that we've purchased. We've always had smaller cranes, but this crane is going to be um, unloading trucks and storing inventory, and then of course taking that stored inventory and loading the mill. The technology package on the crane, available with the crane, really was part of the deciding factor of buying this crane. Uh, with the integrated scale system and the inventory control, it uh, should allow us a greater degree of control and uh, rotation. The log is the most expensive part of our process, so we have to take care of it and we have to make sure that we're using it in, a, in the appropriate time. We looked at all the cranes available, um, all the cranes widely available that we knew about. Uh, we went through a very thorough process of making our decision. Uh, the technology available was a big part of what we did, uh, the, the decision that we made, but I think the reason we chose the crane we did is we went and uh, went to a mill tour and saw a crane that is still in operation and this year that crane is 43 years old and it maintains the fastest unloading time within the mill system that it, that it was purchased for. And that is what we want is uh, we, we want fast unloading and we want a high degree of reliability and we want something to last. And I'd love to get 43 years out of my crane. I'll tell you that uh, our operator that, that runs the crane on a day-to-day -day basis has a grand total of about two months of experience and he is able to run that crane intuitively and uh, he still needs work but for only having two months of experience he's doing a great job and I think that speaks to the, the crane and its controls. Here at the Troy facility uh, we are looking at doing a, a, at least semi-automation and, and perhaps a, a full automation we're waiting for, uh, those bugs be worked out. Uh, we would like to do the remote station um, and we are actually currently installing a uh, another Kona crane at our Graceville facility as we speak.